Okay guys, this is iOmega Drive One and uh right after I made my last video someone was telling me what I thought or what I mainly thought about the uh free trade and the wilderness coming back. And unlike a lot of people, you know, some of them, you know, just go out and they're like, Oh, free trade and free wildy, everything's gonna back, go back to the way it was. Um, I'm not one of those people. I'm not the one I'm not one of those people that's going to say that uh, Jackets is going to redo everything that's going to be just like it was. The problem is is that there's some issues that have happened that I don't think can be really resolved. Um, mainly with uh, these PKing clans. Or not PKing clans, what am I talking about? These uh, price manipulating clans. Now you may ask yourself, well, that, that doesn't make any sense. But... You have to realize, uh, back before the trade limit was put into place, there was only two websites that were deciding what the prices were, and they were pretty fair prices. Uh, it actually made sense. But we have price manipulating clans, and these clans are quite popular, and there's quite a lot of people in them. Now, you tell me what you think is going to happen when the trade limit is gotten rid of and now and now you have four or five maybe even six clans or major groups of people trying to decide what the prices are and especially clans that are hoarding out their rares that are collecting everywhere that they can and just waiting uh, you know what do you think is going to happen they're going to have these clans that are hoarding the rares at the moment are going to be deciding what the prices are and if you haven't seen uh, the street pricing that's been going around, these prices are going to get insanely high, and they're not worth that much. I mean, how do you, how bad does that make you look when you're hoarding rares and you're putting them as hostage for, you know, just to get them out in the market again? You know, it's just like uh, what uh, Jesse zero eighteen was doing, S hoarding Santa hats and then selling them for whatever price she wanted or merchanting them, whatever. If she couldn't do one, she done the other. But what do you think is going to happen when you got so many clans buying for what prices they want to sell? You know, you're going to have price manipulating clans. They're going to be doing either extremely high prices or extremely low prices. You're going to have, you know, RuneHQ and Zybez trying hard to, uh, put the prices where they should be but if hoarding happens which it is, already is then uh we're gonna have some problems uh jackets is the, the damage is already done you know how i'm pretty confused on how jackets is going to fix this you know we don't have two websites now that are we don't have just two websites now that are deciding prices and usually the prices on the two websites were uh you know mirrored off of each other you know, they had the same prices most of the time. But now you have price manipulating clans all over the place, and, you know, it's going to be pretty hard to deal with. You know, it's going to be more confusion than anything. You know, you're going to be up, you're going to go up to somebody, and then you're going to offer a price that's maybe on Zybez or RuneHQ. If it's, I don't even know if RuneHQ is still around, but, uh, and they're going to be like, haha, what a noob, and everything, because they're getting prices off this inflated overpriced uh, website or form or whatever these merchant clans use you know it's it's pretty worrying worrying uh, what might happen when this comes out now someone also directed me to four our four SNG uh, video and by what I saw I could it made no sense to me whatsoever having certain worlds where there was a trade limit and then others where there wasn't. Everyone's going to be using the free trade uh, area because there's no medium, median price if you have a world that has you know free trade and a world that doesn't. You know, Does that make sense to anyone? Obviously people are going to go to the free trade world because they can either get more or less and uh, the people with the items that they want, they're going to be in the free trade world selling it there. You know, they're going to sell it at the price they want. They're not going to sell it at the price where, uh, you know, these other worlds are at. 
if it's just if all it is is about is uh you know having the trade limit on your you know when you're trading and everything not having the prices the way they are you know it, it falls under the same principle you know people are going to sell what they want to sell it for they're not going to sell it for uh you know they're not going to sell it in the trade limit you know i find it pointless that someone would want to go to a limited world when you can go to a free trade world and get maybe the same thing and uh you know they, the person can decide whatever price they want it you know it won't work that way it's not that it's not balanced that way but uh as far as the wilderness i don't really expect any problems with that there is going to be uh gold selling websites that are going to start putting bots all over the place there's going to be a lot of real world traders out there again but i don't think it's going to be that much of a problem you know uh, a lot of people will wanted free uh pvp back uh, because they felt that it wasn't that much of a big deal you know i didn't think it was that much of a big deal you can obviously tell when someone's either cheating or price manipulating or doing something wrong to when they're getting when they are walking around with so much stuff and they're like such a low level and you know etc etc like uh, I made a free I made a street pricing thread on the forums and on the forums I said that uh it seems odd that a lot of the people that are deciding these prices like on party hats and on Halloween mask and Easter eggs out of all things they're in bumping the price up by what 500% up maybe even a thousand percent especially with Easter eggs and all that I'm not sure what the price is in the Grand Exchange now but back when I was playing a lot uh, the street prices were putting the price at billions and it was only worth a measly few mil you know <laughs> you know, uh, I don't think that would, I, a lot of these people that are deciding these prices, you know, they're bumping these prices up so much. People that are deciding this obviously have the rare that they're talking about. You know, go on a street price and thread and what, and see how many people have party hats. And they're saying that, uh, you know, we need the price here and I'm selling it for this and blah, blah, blah. Sorry, but when free trade comes out, I don't care how rare the item is. I'm not paying over in extremely overpriced amounts to get whatever rare you have. I'm sorry. I mean, they're not even useful anyway. It's just for show. And if I, I'm not gonna let someone that is street pricing or you know they are price manipulating. I'm not gonna let them have the satisfaction of getting so much money for something that is not worth that much. Also said in that thread that uh, you know, if the price was meant to be that high, it would be that high. The Grand Exchange is flawed, but it's not supposed to increase prices by hundreds, by hundreds of percents. You know, I mean, if you honestly think an egg is worth a bill, two bill, three bill, then I have to say that you are a moron. Something that can be easily lost. You know, if you click it wrong or whatever, I, actually, I think that might have fixed that. But still, if you think something like that is worth that much, I'm sorry, but you must be a moron. But uh, that's all I have to say. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. I should be making some more videos about RuneScape soon. You know, a lot of stuff has changed. Got some stuff to talk about. So I will see you guys later.